In the north, most broadleaf trees and shrubs drop their leaves in the fall, but a few hold on to them all year. As a result, their leaves must be able to survive temperatures that fluctuate from below zero one. to balmy and back again. Minus 12.8 degrees. I invited my friend Barry back out to help me understand how leaves respond to cold. We don't usually think about plants as behaving, but check out how rhododendrons and azaleas react when it's frigid. It almost has the look uh, of a leafless canopy. The leaves are drooping and they're tightly curled up. Here's the dilemma for plants. When temperatures fall below zero, water in the soil is frozen and unavailable. It's just too cold to photosynthesize. Yet plants are bombarded with even more light energy than in summer because of the bare canopy above and reflection from the snow below. And so you add all of that up, and what you have then is a plant that's vulnerable to stress from absorbing excess light. Um, and this drooping and curling that you observe is a way uh, for these plants to greatly minimize how much light they absorb. Leaf drooping, as in this native sheep laurel, protects plants against intense radiation, while leaf curling slows heat loss and reduces damage from cycles of freezing and thawing. Plants' reactions are surprisingly fast. If you clip an azalea twig and bring it inside, within 10 seconds, its leaves will start to uncurl and lift. Plants may not move as quickly as animals, but their behavior is still pretty impressive. I love leaves. How can you not love leaves? <laughs>